What's up? This is Jade, you're on the Ask Jade Show. Oh my god! How many have you done? I think I've done maybe three or four times. I do about like 33. How do you uh, build that um, following where it's like they're very loyal? I would recommend you the following. Stop watching my videos and unsubscribe. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, so you just want to flex on the haters? I mean, yeah, basically. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jade and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today is the day you've been waiting for. I honestly think you guys missed Ashley so, so much that I was probably losing subscribers because I haven't done one in literally a month. So that's why today we're doing another Ask Jade show. If you are new here, what's up? My name is Jade. I'm a 17 year old entrepreneur helping you grow on social media. And the Ask Jade show is basically where I answer your deepest, darkest questions about social. Hey, we're in a special location. We're in my bed and I'm wearing a hoodie and I'm not wearing any makeup because I got a call. I got a comment the other day and someone was saying like, I was like, your lighting's too good, your makeup's too much, or like something like that. And I'm just like, you're right. We gotta bring it back to the genuine authentic days where I look sh like shit, I still look shit. I literally have no makeup on, I just kind of, I woke up. This is what you're getting. I just wanna make it super casual and personal because today we hit 70K on YouTube and I'm so, so thankful, you guys don't even know. So I kinda just wanna bring it back to the gold old days when we did Ask Jade Show in the shitty location. So what's a better spot to film than the comfort of my own bed? This is actually not even my bed. You guys are curious. I'm currently traveling for a business trip. So if you wanna know how you can be on the next Ask Jade Show, all you gotta do is keep on watching. All right, the first color, hey, yeah, hey. So I'm gonna start with the first color. Hello? Hey, uh, this is Jade, you're on the Ask Jade Show. Oh my God, hi Jade, what is up? Um, I'm Diani, I'm from Los Angeles, California. Woo -woo. How are you doing? Like, how can I help you? What's going on? So, I have been trying to like, kind of grow my social media slowly but surely. I recently shot with the brand Airy. I don't know if you know them. Yes! Um, so once they kind of started releasing photos, over the past like three or four days, I've gained like 100 followers, so I've been like liking comments. Okay, so how can I kind of continue this while there's not really anything coming out until the until like maybe two weeks from now? Oh, okay. Your end goal, tell me more about your dream. Like what's your absolute outcome you're looking for? I think for me, I just want to kind of grow a platform where I can inspire people. I think I've kind of started to open up slowly about my self-esteem journey and about kind of my struggle with acne. So I kind of want to do that more, but there's a lot of people that I feel like don't want to see that, so I'm kind of holding back because Who? I don't just Who doesn't want to see that? Who doesn't want to see that? The people that you know, aren't the most positive people, and I know that I shouldn't kind of let them control my feed, but I just feel like it's such a drastic shift from what I was doing in the past. But I, I, I want to know, like, honestly. who who is that person? It's no, I think it's just the demographic of people that I know personally. There you go. Like that so so you're friends. With. So you're friends, right? No, my friends are really supportive. Okay. Kind of like those acquaintances that I went to high school with. <laughs> like, so fake know. friends, right? Right, like people that were never really friends but still kind of follow me. So I have a really easy solution for you. This is not gonna be solved in two weeks. To be very fair, I think what you're gonna do is because you had amazing collaborations and Aerie is such a credible brand, I, I really do think you have to understand like whoever doesn't like your content probably isn't the right audience for you. I'm just gonna tell you, I'm sure, I'm gonna be like 100% sure when you work with more brands in the future, I'm assuming you also wanna like monetize with other brands too, right? Right. So what I'm telling you is those little are probably not gonna be the ones paying your bills. So don't give a shit about them because when you think about it, when a brand works with you, one, they ask for who's your demographic. And I'm probably gonna tell you, like you're not gonna say the fake friends from high school. So that really helped me like move forward. I'm like, okay, now I'm able to open up more because the people that gave me shit will probably not even affect my the, the vision of my brand. Like if they affected me, then maybe I would care more. My biggest recommendation is to go narrow, not wide. So what, you got a hundred new followers every day. Um, you know the past week of the campaign like don't do the thing where people go like get greedy And then they start like like where's the more like what I would do is think those new people Literally just go really narrow like just stop talking to them one-on-one -on -one. like say hey I knew you came from here. Where do you want to see more the biggest mistake? I see creators make have great great awareness But don't even do anything with it because you don't want to do the thing where you get these followers and then they unfollow later because you're like Oh, she's not relevant to me. So be very relevant to them right. and I just honestly like 
have you like messaged them before or just went one on one um, the past week? Right, I've actually messaged a few people. How many have you done? I think I've done them maybe three or four times. I do about like 33 a day. I don't just want it to be photos of me, but I see that that's what my followers love the most. Okay. But I don't want my feet to be overloaded with Aerie. But the, oh. everything that I've posted with Aerie is like three times, I've done it three times or two times more like than kind of my other content. How long has it been? Five days ago. Okay, it takes time. So similarly, I really think it's gonna be okay. Like, yes, people wanna see Aerie, but in the next four months, that's gonna dry up, and then you can slowly, the idea is you wanna pivot, you wanna pivot your content, right? Right. You can't pivot. So what I would say is over time, just like slow down Aerie, like one month it's 50-50, next it's like 40-60, right? And just keep doing it until you're happy. So like, when you are trying to change the direction of your content, just take your time. People really take a long time to even get used to it. So you will be able to switch, but just right. not right now. Is that okay? Yeah, it's awesome. Thank you so much. All right, have the best day ever. I love you so much. Enjoy LA. So Danny, thank you so much for calling. You're very sweet. Um, just to summarize this, you guys have to realize, like you cannot change the direction of your content in a month. People get confused as shit. People remember you for one thing at a time. Maybe you're an airy model, but then you want to become a food blogger. You can't merge this shit in one day. People need to know you you one thing at a time and then maybe you can move on people change and pivot but it doesn't happen in the course of a week be patient and be really really okay with slow and steady growth okay we're gonna go to the next color your call has been forwarded what the hell you guys have to stop giving me fake numbers okay hello hey this is jade you're on the ask jade show hello hi this is jade what's up where are you from hi jade what my name is Simon. <laughs> my name is Simon. I'm from Canada, but I'm stationed in Virginia. Dope, Tim. How can I help you, dude? What's going on? How do you uh, build that um, following where it's like they're very loyal? Easy. You have a right message for the right audience. You pick a message, you see if it matches a certain type of person, and you keep the key is you keep tweaking until you find a perfect fit. It's not gonna happen in the next. Like, how? What, what's your concern? Like, what's holding you back from getting loyal followers? Probably being me, just not posting. Why aren't you posting? I'm running a bunch of stars in terms of a financial firm, and then when I'm at the Navy. So I feel like uh, maybe I should set up like an automation kind of thing. Here's the thing, regardless, you're not gonna grow. Like I hope you realize this and I'll be honest. Like you're probably not gonna find yeah. results you're looking for. So whatever moves you forward, like some people just like automation because it makes them feel like they have a system in place. But however, I right. when I use a system, I feel like really constrained and I really feel really suffocated. So I like free flowing. Okay. It's up to you, man. Like I think okay. whatever's gonna move you forward because you have to realize finding the right message, the right audience, like I don't know the lottery like you don't know which combination is gonna work the best right so in the meantime because I know you're such a busy dude like keep going at it love what you're doing just make sure you do whatever it takes for you I'm just curious for Darma Nation what's your solution what are you gonna do to kind of get that loyal fan base wake up a little bit earlier and love it set up the time to actually find out what I'm gonna post for the day. What time are we gonna wake up? What time are we gonna wake up every day? 4.30 or 5. Every day, you wanna post a story on your Instagram about you waking around 5 a.m. and the Dharma Nation will keep you accountable. I'll put your, everyone, this is his Instagram. We're gonna make sure you're putting in the grind. We're gonna keep an eye on you, man. We're here for you. I'll see you 5 a.m. Thank you. Have a good day. What's up? This is Jade, you're on the Ask Jade Show. Oh my God, <laughs> hi. Hey girl, what's your name and where are you from? I'm from Washington State. Ashley, oh my gosh, I just want to say, I see your comments and DMs all the time, and you just make my day all the time. I just see you as a frequent like subscriber, and I just thank you so much for the support. I literally, like, I see you so often. Thank you so much. Like, so, I was like super, super into social media, you know, growing my brand, but then school came up, like finals and everything, so I kind of took a break. Yeah. And now I'm trying to get back into that, and I finally have time for YouTube, so I'm trying to get back into YouTube, but the only social media platform that I use is Instagram, and so I guess I'm trying to figure out how I can grow on Instagram and YouTube. What, what is your overall goal? Like, tell me more about your dream, like your bigger picture. Like, how about this? Like, close your eyes. Ashley, just imagine. Like, if I was a magic genie, and I, you could pick whatever you want, as selfish as possible, you know, how big is your dream? Go. Like, high school reunions, I was just thinking about my bullies and everything. Even by, like, the five-year, ten-year reunion, you know, like, how, like, 10K on both, and just be like, what's up? Gosh, I love that. Okay, what is is there anything else, or is that just like your absolute dream? Um, like in ten years, be done with my masters and start working on my PhD and 
Hopefully be married to my boyfriend. <laughs> okay, yeah, for sure. Let's, let's, um, I can't help you with the last one, but let's talk about the first one. Like, you want to get to a point where you have confidence, and you said confidence is 10K for you? Yeah. So you want to share your message. Why, so tell me more about, like, you know, why would you, why did you start in the first place? Like, what's your, what are you trying to help people with? Um, well, basically I've had a crazy life. Like, I have multiple mental illnesses. I barely graduated high school. I have been and am homeless in, like, a weird way. I've gone through so much, and I've, like, talked to so many people that just are, like, I'm ready to give up, and I just want to, like, make a message that's just, like, if I can do it, you can do it. Like, keep pushing through. So is that what your content, I love that. Is that what your content is all about? Are you, is that what you're messaging towards already? Yeah. Got it. So what is holding you back from getting to your goal of like, you know, expanding this following? It was um, time. I've been trying to spend, you know, like a half hour to an hour just trying to grow myself, whether that's going on Instagram, following people, liking them, and just being genuine, um, or like going on YouTube, watching videos, um, you know, like your videos on like, how to do this stuff or even like I got it. So first of all, my biggest step right now is how long do you spend watching YouTube? Um, I probably spend like an hour to two hours. I would recommend you the following. Stop watching my videos and unsubscribe. Just kidding. Well like literally like stop watching my videos and spend all that time doing what you're saying, which is liking and commenting. I'm telling you, if you spent like you doubled the time of interacting with people and like basically you know, unfollowing or following or like taking other people's subscribers, and like interacting with them, you're gonna have so much more growth because I think you are, you probably have, and I've seen you, you know, keep up my content and you have everything you need, Ashley. Like, you literally, the matter of your success is just time, right? So, in a matter of time, you're gonna feel that growth, but in the meantime, you have to put in all your energy and focus on what's important. Right now, you have a message and I'm telling you, your story will touch others, but people need to find it. So my biggest recommendation is literally spend your entire life DMing people. I remember I would DM a hundred people every day until I got blocked. Like Instagram had to freaking block me. Um, so I don't know how much oh you're doing. God. Yeah, I know it's intense, but it worked. Like it helped me really get the yeah, outreach. Yeah, you go girl. Because that helped you like how often are you DMing and outreaching people? So like I try to DM as many people. Like what I do is, you know, I watch people's Instagram stories and even if I barely know them, I just, I comment. Like, if it's funny... The yeah. biggest tip for you now is to go one step further. Going from complimenting people, start building a relationship. For example, and imagine we're both single, okay? And we're at Panera Bread, right? Imagine this. And there's this yeah. random ass dude that keeps opening the door. And then he asks us for a lunch date. We're probably going to say no. Yeah. But if this freaking yeah. robber is opening the door every single time you go to Panera Bread for the next 36 months, I think eventually we're going to say, okay, dude, finally, I'll go to, to lunch date with you, right? <laughs> So the same yeah. way, like you want to be so, I'm, it's sad to say this, but you want to be so annoying that a person gets so familiar with you that they're going to interact. So I think you're super close. Keep doing what you're doing um, and you're going to do this at scale. So put on all your energy with basically bombarding someone's DMs and actually giving value in a sense of like you're helping people's, um, you know, like feedback, like you're giving your thoughts. So keep doing that every single damn day. Um, and then that will help you expand your message and then use YouTube honestly to like feel organic because Instagram for me is like you can reach out to people but YouTube is a place where people find you so that's what I would do like how do you connect it together just say like you know use YouTube for people to discover you make videos that are like tutorials or helpful mindset like story times and then use Instagram to outreach so that's two sources of traffic you can use just like one more quick question yeah so, uh, like I want my main platform and my videos to be about that just be really informative but like I'm also into like making like other kinds of videos do you say like that's okay or should I just stick mostly to one thing? The answer is whatever will make you move forward. I think you have to realize it doesn't matter what topic you talk about. If you can tie in everything with mental health. I've seen people actually make YouTube videos about fashion, but they talk about, you know, health and mental health because it talks about, you know, body confidence. So maybe the answer is yes. Like honestly, you have to be creative enough to, to tie everything together because you don't, you have to realize people need to remember you for one thing at a time. If you become room tour girl, yeah. freaking makeup tutorial, outfits, Fitbit girl, like people are just like, like who the fuck is Ashley, right? You want to be known for one, yeah. one thing at a time. So my recommendation is yes, if you can tie them all together, but I would rather you focus on one thing first and then expand over time, right? Um, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, no, totally. 
I love it. Ashley, thank you so much. I love you so much. Have the best day thank ever. Thank you so much. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I love y'all so, so much. Again, thank you for 70K. If you wanna be, oh fuck. If you wanna be on the next Ask Jade show, all you gotta do is actually follow my Instagram. It's right here. And turn on story notifications. I'm gonna start announcing people um, when I can call people up. It's just gonna be sporadic. So make sure you're the first one there. Literally today we sold out Ask Jade show in 10 minutes, which is insane. Thank you so much for your love and support. I truly appreciate it. Oh, and one more thing. For everyone who is new here, I uh, just want to say welcome. I'm going to do some more Q&A, but this time, if you do follow me on Instagram and you ask me a question on my stories with the hashtag Ask Jade Show and tag me, I will literally answer your question in a story. So I'm going to be picking a few people. So if you want a chance to get your question answered, just do hashtag Ask Jade Show and tag me on your story and I'll answer your story in a video reply. Does that make sense? We're going to figure it out. This is the first time I'm doing it. But yeah, I'm going to do another Ask Jade Show call and episode next week. So stay very tuned and turn on post notifications notifications if you haven't already. Obliterate the like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed because what the fuck. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. Oh yeah, and if you want to see what I'm up to and why I'm in a hotel, why I'm traveling for business, just subscribe to the vlog channel. There's more stuff there. All right guys, have the best day ever. I love you so much. Mwah. Shout out to the car winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode.